Good evening. I'm Charles Payne. The FBI is handling up the investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server under yet new layer of scrutiny. The wife of an FBI official who eventually went on to oversee the Clinton email investigation received at least $400,000 for her state Senate campaign from a pack of longtime Clinton ally and Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe. Donald Trump seized on this at his rally a short time ago. The man that was investigating her from the FBI, his wife runs for office, and they give her more than $675,000 to run. It's unbelievable how Hillary Clinton got away with the email lie, the email scam, the email corruption, but now at least we have a pretty good idea. So just how did this largely unknown aspiring candidate come into hundreds of thousands of dollars from, from Clinton, uh, Clinton aides? And just by the way, a short moment ago, we do have breaking news for you. Former Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane uh, sentenced to 10 to 23 months in prison for engaging in a political payback scheme. Joining me now to discuss it all, Noel Nickpour, Ford O'Connell, and David Morey. Uh, Noel, let me start with you. I mean, yeah, here's, a, here's an unknown candidate running for state senate office, right. the governor of Virginia swoops in, lavishes hundreds of thousands of dollars on her, and just coincidentally her husband ends up being a pivotal, has a pivotal role in investigating Hillary Clinton's emails. And you know what's really funny with this is he donated, or, or the PAC donated, uh, almost a third of her total intake for her campaign, which means that's a pretty hefty penny. Not only that, but the, when the investigation was in full swing at the FBI, her husband gets a promotion. I mean, if, if nothing else, let's just say bad optics. And if you know everything's going on with Hillary Clinton, and it has for years, and she's under you know, the microscope and running for president, wouldn't you just take away from this? Wouldn't you just step down off of this, you know, wondering if right. these things could go to light? And they right. did. Ford, I mean, not only bad optics, I got to be frank. If, the, if someone submitted this to Hollywood as a script, they say it was a bad script. It was too unbelievable, too many coincidences. It will never fly in real life. Well, I think you're absolutely right, and it's hard for the average American to see this anything other as an attempt to put a down payment on influencing the FBI investigation. Look, I've run a lot of campaigns in the state of Virginia, and I need to put the money a little bit in perspective. Saying that it's one-third of the total intake she had for her campaign is not enough. In fact, Terry McAuliffe, who's in the top three in the Clinton world, and his allies gave her basically as much money as the incumbent who won that state Senate race raised in total. So when you take that into account, there's a lot going on here. And the fact also that, uh, that uh, McCabe's husband was actually promoted within the FBI during the investigation should raise a lot of eyebrows. This is a lot more than an optics problem. This is obviously an apparent conflict of interest. Uh, David Morey, uh, there's so many conflicts of interest. Uh, this is just uh, the most recent. But it's, it's damning stuff in an otherwise crowded news cycle. How, how do Democrats justify all of this? Well, I would say none of us know what really happened. The news is breaking today. And, uh, well, uh, but we, we're all intelligent people, so we all kind of, and we all kind of followed this saga, if you will, and this certainly fits into the negative side of the, of the script. Yeah, but Charles, we'll need to get beyond the optics. Both sides have denied any wrongdoing. Governor McAuliffe, spokesperson, and the FBI has said there's no wrongdoing here. If any uh, linkage of any kind is, is, is found, direct or indirect, it will need to be looked into. That's true. And the bigger issue is fundraising. Listen, one of Donald Trump's great attraction is he doesn't have to fundraise. He still is. One of Hillary Clinton's attraction to her supporters is she's going to overturn Citizen United. This is part of the reason why people don't go into politics. Wait, yeah, you know, at some point, the there's, there's a yeah, mess yeah, That's optically. not the topic we're talking about right now. Uh, here's the thing, Noel. I think what we're talking about is we got more specifically the everything that surrounds this whole Clinton investigation with the emails and the FBI has just been, it's just the public, has rubbed the public the wrong way. And on both sides of the aisle, people say they do not like the way it played out, they don't like the outcome of it. And then you layer on this news right at the open of the show, Kathleen Kane. There is a history with Democrats' abuse of power. This woman was on the road to political stardom, and she used her office for petty, such pettiness, but the abuse of power 
that the Clintons, by the way, uh, people think they get away with. But you know, here's a sad fact. It, you've got to realize that the Clintons are held to such a lower standard. So coming out are of they, the... Are they held to any of, standard? Well, obviously they think they're above the law. You know, if something happens, they'll, they'll find their way around it. It'll be someone else's fault. They're never to blame. Or, you know, if they come down, if it comes down to it, they'll say they mishandled something, but they'll never say that they were guilty of it. No matter what, it's, it's the blame game on someone else. And so we're really pretty much used to these uh, antics. I mean, you're getting used to them. I guess after 30 years, we are sort of used to them. I do want to share with the audience a statement from the FBI on this uh, that says, in part, during the campaign, he's talking about McCabe, played no role, attended no events, and did not participate in fundraising or support of any kind. Months after the completion of her campaign, then Associate Deputy Director McCabe was promoted to deputy, where in that position he assumed for the first time an oversight role in the investigation into Secretary Clinton's emails. Ford, is there is there a sense that maybe uh, maybe someone or or certain parties knew he was in line for this particular promotion, and this was sort of a a payoff before the official promotion? Well, it seems that the Clinton uh, Clinton world has its tentacles in every aspect of this investigation, from the FBI to the DOJ to being tipped off when an investigation might actually occur. Here's what I want to say, and the most truthful thing that Donald Trump has said this entire election is that the investigation into the Clinton email investigation needs to be investigated, reinvestigated, regardless of who wins the election. This is about faith and fairness and in, in public trust into our institutions, and when you can't trust the FBI, guess what? We got big problems.